Good afternoon and welcome back to EGL Central here from EGL 13 live in Blackpool. Chris, some fantastic games there, would you say? Yeah, very, very good game between Orbit and Enigma. Of course, Orbit walking out 3 0 winners on that one. And yeah, just before we start discussing this game, sorry, I put my mic a bit closer so people actually hear me. Uh, just a little bit of a thing that actually went down on the main <laughs> hall. I mean, Endura pulling off a 1v3 against Lightning Pandas. 2 2 in maps, 5 5 on the SD. 1v3, it's knock Lightning Pandas in the loser's bracket. I mean, it doesn't come any bigger than that when you're talking about clutch moments. I yeah. mean, to do it at 5 5 SD, 2 2 maps. Fair enough, we're only like a couple of rounds in the tournament, but wow. I mean, 1v3 <laughs> in that situation. <laughs> it, doing things like this, yeah. it's just, it's adding insults or injury. I know you're fair enough, you're losing, you're going into loser's bracket, but. I'd prefer to be absolutely slow. Oh, I'd, I'd prefer to get smashed a, a good 3 0, you know, yeah, 3 you know, 1, and uh, get knocked out, but that is a very bad way. It's an unlucky it? way to go, but I mean, we heard. We're only hearing comments, but he uh, apparently baited one of the kills. Uh -huh. Did uh, Injura? Uh, him out. He was chased down by crowds and run around a corner, uh -huh. jumped back, baited it, and did take it down. Unfortunately, but they didn't have the best of EGL 12s. You know, coming in top 24, the loser bracket is an, an evil place to be. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. this, these are a good set of people. This is a, a really good team. Shane is a legend in his own right, right. let's be fair, across Call of Duty, Europe, European Call of Duty is, is an absolute legend. The guys have the ability to do well. How do you think loser bracket is going to affect them? Well, loser bracket can do one of two things. You know, It can be one of those things where you get knocked down there and that, that's it. It's absolute hell. It, yeah. it becomes a real issue. It can then do great work for you because you can get yeah. knocked down there. You get a couple of wins on your back. You've got this momentum. And it's, I say it time and time again. I always go about the, the classic thing that happened with for Rico at EJL4. They lost the very first game. They made it all the way to the final, grand final, yeah. all the way through the loser bracket. Exactly like Epsilon at EJL12. Mm -hmm. Straight into losers, back up, bang, grand final winners. So. You know, it can happen. It's just you get the momentum behind you. You start playing teams. You start getting wins on your back. You think, you know what? We can beat anyone to go through. Yeah. And it, it's all about confidence. It's all about momentum. If you get a good amount of confidence in your team you start winning games you, yeah. you will keep winning games it's like I say, it, can, it can really can produce the best it can bring out the best and worst in a team yeah. they either go into it heads down nah we're not having this so you shake your head you get in let's have this boys let's win this so good luck to landing you start punching people over the desk well yeah oh, it oh, might be a little bit strong could be getting booted out for that yeah maybe I've seen the security guys they're quite big yeah I won't mess with them <laughs> but <laughs> let's anyway, about that back to uh, Orbit and Enigma game. yeah obviously 3-0 <laughs> Orbit I mean, Blitz, in the end, I think it, <laughs> it was over at half-time, essentially. Yeah, I mean, again, adding, like I said before, adding insult to injury, that is a disgusting score. You should not be letting anyone get that kind of score against you. I don't know if they just anyone gave up or... I think it's some, at, at one point, I think, when they knew it was over, I think there, there was a, a, an element of messing on. But, I mean, you know, but you can still say that all but were very, very impressive and are going to move on to the next round. I mean, the first two maps as well, quite convincing. S&D a little bit closer, but we've yeah. seen a ridiculous uh, clutch in the... And it was one of the first rounds there. And I can't remember who... Jamar did the 1v3 straight away. And and it was uh, straight off of the well. back, bang. S set the ball going as it meant to go on, and that would it. Everyone's I do like doing this. It's quite... I'm not going to... Yeah. We're, we're getting a bit violent here, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it low-key for now. But it's getting yeah. fired up. It's getting fired up. <laughs> but yeah, once again, a fantastic 1v3 from uh, JML there, and that really set the tone for the rest of the game. Orbit just looked very comfortable. Every single match, it's always been Orbit. Big kills, low deaths, Enigma, negative ratios. I think the slaying power of Orbit really kind of just came into it there overall. Yeah. Across all three games, it was just death, 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 unfortunately. Yeah. And... Like we said before, that last game should have. It was, yeah, we're done here. Let's have yeah. enough of it. I, I think it was just one of them classic ones from War, but it just said, let's get in this, let's get it won, let's move on to the next round. We will see them challenged a lot more though, and I do believe we do. I'm just having a quick turn around. Sorry about that. You can actually see it in the camera. It is going to be TCM taking on Denial, and of course, big grudge there for that game because we got Madcat taking on his old teammates. Yeah, that's which be is an which is going to be a bit of a naughty one, I think. But uh, yeah, we are going to go to a very.